but it is just such a nuisance to deal with these two heroes because their pressure is always there. Even if you kill the Murky, you're not stopping the Locust from Abathur and you're not stopping the Murky from being alive five seconds later. Full mana and an Archon that is King Caffeine having to pop Avatar though to keep himself alive. He's getting very low. There is the, the Shadow Stock there. Avatar Mines might keep him alive. The Hami Wave is going to secure that kill. Caffeine is going to go down, but a big fight in the middle lane. Maltra is going to go down as well. A huge collapse there. Again, one Pro doing a lot of damage to the Archon. Han's completely out of mana, has to back out. Picking up the Sylvanas, that's going to be very nice. That's a lot of damage that won't be able to put onto structures, but Complexity doesn't care. They're still going for it. Can they pick up K1 Pro? It's going to be close. The Polymorph comes down. Seven sided strike on top of several members, but nothing gets taken out yet. A great ice block from Trummel to keep him alive for now, but I dream in the fight, even though his egg is taken out, they're going to get Jada and Sylvanas, and Johanna even is down too. The, the ball's on the iDream for going into that fight despite <laughs> not having his egg. The guy is insane. Can the team get there in time though? Jackson must get hit by the root. Can they use this as an opportunity to engage? They have all their heroics up. Kray one Pro looks like he wants to dimensional shift onto the point, and then Archon. Can Cloud9 use this as a way to win this game? Oh, there goes the Archon immediately, Wailing Arrow to follow and silence on several members already as the ultimate evolution will be down. The boss is done. The cap point is there. Octograb on top of somebody. It looks like it was Brightwing. Brightwing will be taken out there. Trummel and Caterpillar trying desperately to try to hold that point. Caterpillar has to have Indestructible dropped. And then Ice Block will not save Jaina. So Jaina's down too, so is Muradin. Two down on either side as Karzim is oh. down too. Caterpillar so incredibly low, they will get the takedown on Johanna. Have they made him the stake? Has Complexity made the stake? Or can they get this K1? And uh, Sylvanas both go down. It's still 1-1. One, one. Hans versus I Dream Murky. The Murky Avatar. Dream. Oh, Murky Avatar comes out. This is a complete wipe. 30 seconds until Brightwing is alive and still 40 seconds plus on everyone else. Can I Dream end with this boss? Even if he goes for the risk of pushing into it and someone spawns and kills him, he's just a murky. It doesn't matter. And this is a boss threatening core. Abathur can go get the curse himself if he wanted to. And it looks like Jacksonus is already calling GG. Complexity doing the unthinkable and potentially throwing on the boss. This might be a little bit preemptive, though. They got 13 seconds on Jaina. I think iDream can do it, though, with the Abathur hat. They don't even need the curse. This should be game, Billy. No, well, Abathur anyway is going to pick up a tribute to finally secure themselves a curse. But yeah, it really comes down to this boss and the I Dream. Where is his egg? His egg's clear back at base too. If they can get a takedown on him, and they at least wouldn't have him. A water elemental comes out, but now Fan has even cloned the Murky. Two Murkies plus a boss. This should be the core. This will be the core. And after being in charge, really, this game for Complexity, uh, Cloud9 with one fight over boss will secure the win. <laughs> Complexity, why would you do boss in that situation? You know, watch the positioning. Dunk Train may be in trouble here. Already used his E. Can they catch him? The Blizzard comes down now. Matra trying and will be able to pick up with a last minute butt bite thanks to the Ghost Wolf. Cloud9 getting themselves this Punisher very easily. Um, was it worth losing a fort, basically? Depends, I guess, how much damage they can get with the Punisher. It's a Mortar, so not going to be quite as scary as an arcane one. Um, generally with the first Punisher, because it's so so uh, weak, you can bait it over the wall just like Caterpillar has done. They're going to at least try to get some tower pickups, but for the most part, you want to try to still keep up with your lane soak where you can, especially because Cloud9 are behind because of some of those takedowns. Level 10 has been acquired here by Complex. We unleash the boar's wailing arrow, and essential healing, bunch of shield and water. Mother, as the fight happens, bunch of shield connect. I dream taking some decent damage here. A big kill goes down onto Jacksmith as he's looking to re engage. I dream getting blown up here. Nice stun from Misha. Blizzard goes down. I dream's gonna fall. Key Cappy leaves over the wall. Wailing arrow connects, but not gonna be enough to secure that kill. But all five members of Complexity are in this lane with a Sylvanas, and they are going to take down this front wall and be in the perfect position to start on this uh, shrine. Capital are re-engaging here, trying to get on top of the fight here. Big Kerrigan combo, the Lunar Flare comes up. There's Maelstrom being popped by Fan, and that's going to be a lot of damage going down on the Complexity. Jackson is taking a lot of damage. He's inside this VP. Caterpillar trying to reposition himself. Trouble comes up. Combo misses, but still stuns. Caterpillar here. Fan going in very deep. That's going to be three for nothing. Change. Lunar Flare connects with Jackson, and he's going to go down as well. Dunk Train somehow survives through that. That was a sick combo coming out there. 
from iDream connected with three members of Complexity and the Lunar Flare follow-up hitting two members was a really quick decisive victory from C9. Basically his entire composition is not what you had happen. Trummel gets blown up immediately and a beautiful VP follow-up here. Carrion combo should be able to connect. The Force Wall goes down for, uh, prematurely there and it does not matter. They end up running straight down. Nice plus and shield to try and disengage here. It's Complexity turning this around somehow. We use Dimensional Ward from Dunk Train trying to back out here. Lunar Flare comes out, misses Jacksmith and now it's an even fight. Four versus four. K1 Pro is in retreat right now being slowed by Jacksmith and Caterpillar. I dream backing out of the fight with Van K King Caffeine wanting to re-engage. K1 Pro, of course, is going to go down here. And what was initially a good pick from C9, they overextended a little bit too early before so while no combo follow from Dream, and they ended up losing that fight. Uh, hero all heroics about up. Void Prison, the last one to come up, and there it is. Shadow Stock to help come in for the engage. Will we see a Wailing Arrow immediately goes down, and for now we can't have that Void Prison from Fan. But I dream is moving in. Matra has to heal himself, and there is a Void Prison keeping both Sylvanas and Rexar from being able to engage now. They're back. Ice Block on Hans, who is so low, but he'll go down as well. K1 still going after Matra. Super, super aggressive, but has that shield now, but might be out of position a bit. No, Rhaegar and Sylvanas go down. Three down on the side of Complexity here as Cloud9 continue the chase on both Rexar and Cattle. It's just so amazing to see that. Once again, she gets a really far jump in into another stun. They always can follow up with the Lunar Flare 2 on top of it, and they once again pick up Sylvana. She had just spawned and is back out of this fight. You need an example for the power, the what you can make happen when you stagger deaths. This is it exactly. One death leading into another death, leading into a third death, secures them a keep, and potentially more kills. Jacksmith does get hit by the ancestral healing there, but still getting blown up. The pull happens, and that's going to be another staggered death against Complexity. They're trying to re-engage here. There's a lot of low mana on the end of C9, but they're going to be able to back out of this. They still have an Infernal that can push mid lane out of this field. The True Shot Aura and the, and the uh, Searing Arrows. He's going to do so much auto damage. Re-engage happens here. Caterpillar gets pulled in. Ancestral goes down this time. It is in time. Asans goes down, connecting with K1, uh, King Caffeine, and Dunk Train. But they are looking to keep up the pushes. The full health Punisher still don't have those 20 pounds. Another combo goes down on the Caterpillar. He gets cleansed out of it. Nice job there from Rhaegar, but he's going to get blown up. The Ancestral, uh, the Void Prison was perfectly placed there. Follow up damage on the Trouble Force Wall is only blocking Dunk Train off, but they still get the kill on the Savannah. Rexar going to lose Misha in this fight, unfortunately, as well. It's like Jaina's going to fall. No escape there for Hans, and this is going to be potentially checkmate here as uh, Cloud9 pushes in. Vayne death to avoid the combo. Jackson is trying to keep himself alive. Force Wall does not end up helping secure that kill. Caffeine dives deep for the kill. Gets the stun, and it's going to be a full wipe on the Complexity, and that is going to be GG. Complexity is not going to go to tournament play tomorrow in the playoff. They're eliminated, and that means Cloud9 and Blaze succeed at uh, making it to playoffs from their group. We know that Lieutenant Morales has the potential to be a really great character, but overall her health pool is just so low that she's yet to see very much play or effective play.